If your child's tired all the time, struggling to focus, getting sick a lot, it could be iron deficiency. And this isn't rare. In the UK, one in four children aren't getting enough iron in their diet and many parents have no idea. I'm Dr. Candy Edgefor, I'm a GP. I'm also a mom to three. So here's some evidence-based parenting tips to help your child thrive. Now, iron isn't just about energy. It helps carry oxygen in the blood and it's essential for brain development, immunity and growth. Now, low iron in early life has certainly been linked to lower IQ, poor school performance, behavioral issues like irritability and attention problems. The symptoms, well, they can be subtle. Always tired, pale skin, brittle nails, poor appetite, getting sick more often, or craving weird things like ice or paper, which is a condition called pica. And sometimes there are no symptoms or signs until it's already affecting their learning and their development. So what's causing it? Well, it's not just about meat. A lot of kids today eat more ultra processed foods. I bang on about it all the time and less iron rich real foods as a result. There's also too much milk, which blocks iron absorption. Many kids drink way more than the 500 mils of recommended cow's milk a day over the age of one. And I wouldn't personally recommend getting blood tests for every child just to check unless your child is experiencing severe symptoms as discussed above. But certainly you can talk to your GP and they will discuss whether a blood test is needed. I also wouldn't just supplement with iron supplements unless it's been confirmed because too much iron can cause iron toxicity, constipation and tummy upsets. So the best place to start is always maximizing the iron in their diet. So here's how to boost their iron naturally. So if you eat meat, you can offer red meat to your children. Uh, not too much though. Lentils, chickpeas, tofu, dark green veg, they're all good sources. Combine with vitamin C, like berries or peppers, because that helps boost absorption. Cut back on the milk and tea, because that blocks absorption. And make iron rich friendly meals, like blending spinach into smoothies or adding lentils into pasta sauce. Cooking in a cast iron pan, which really boosts the iron in food. And again, if you're unsure, please speak to your GP and they can think about organizing a blood test for your little one. So remember, iron deficiency isn't just tiredness. It can also delay development, really reduce their learning potential and even weaken their immune system. So it's working in the background, but it is treatable and prevention is always better than cure. Let's not normalize tired, cranky kids. Let's fuel their brains and not just fill their tummies. I hope that's been helpful.